My name is Levi Tafari. I'm a right-hand performer residing in the city of Liverpool. I work locally, nationally and internationally. I write about the human experience and the things that affect that experience. I was brought up believing in God, but there was something that wasn't right from the kind of teachings that are through a Western style of Christianity. And the early 70s, there were voices coming out of Jamaica, people like Big Youth, um, people like Kai Roy and Bob Marley, who were showing forth something different in terms of religious belief. Now, did you know black man you had a civilization before anybody else from this creation? And from fear civilization, others did come. You see, even that of the European. And did you know Moses? Him was a black man. Yes, it's written in the Bible and the Holy Quran. So amongst the various aspects of Rastafari, different mansions of Rastafari, i.e. 12 tribes, Ethiopian World Federation, Nyabingi, Baba Shanti, there isn't a great deal of difference because the basic principles are the same. Some of the disciplines of Rastafari and our acknowledgement, we acknowledge the divinity of Haile Selassie, we acknowledge Christ as the Anointed One. We refrain from eating any form of pig and shellfish. We pray and we have Naya Bingi sessions where people would come together and reason and would read the Bible. Natural black. I know act with the act. It is a natural fact that the African skin is black. And when Jah created the sun, the said thing our skin did attract. Rastafari, as well as in one quarter, would mean life, living life to the full. Both the f balancing the physical, the metaphysical and the spiritual. Yeah, it has it has taught I to respect life and to move forward and to live a hopeful life, to treat each and everyone which is a part of this human family as brothers and sisters. We are the, the fathers and the mothers of civilization. But then we've been taken from that position as well as by Western powers. And as the prophecy says, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. Now when we talk of his imperial majesty, I am talking about Haile Selassie, king of the oldest monarchy, who revealed himself as the almighty, the king of kings, the lord of lords, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, Jah Rastafari.